One of the most basic skills in magic is to entrain the audience into suspending their disbelief of their own senses. If the audience no longer disbelieves what they're seeing, what you do as a magician seems like real magic. The trick is to convert the skepticism of the disbelief into the wonder of true believing. And this is how we actually create our lives. We become true believers of our own magic. We don't like certain situation or we want to change what we are experiencing in our lives, so we reach out with a new vision of how we'd like our lives to be. And refuse to disbelieve when things are slow to change or barriers and apparent obstacles block our choice to change. Last week I uh, had an experience with the crowdfunding app GoFundMe. I would uh, made a choice that I was going to raise the money for my cause no matter how long it took or what I had to do to make that change and that choice come true. I thoroughly suspended my own skepticism about fundraising and other people's intentions, all the reasons that prevented me from using the service in the past. And with that mindset, lo and behold, it only took 48 hours to achieve my GoFundMe goal. In retrospect, it did seem like magic. In fact, many of the participants in the fundraiser were surprised just how fast everyone chipped in. My guru coach uh, said something that got me going on this. She said, uh, the energy of wonder, the amazement of creation, is one of the most attractive qualities you can show the universe. The intelligence of the particles and waves swirling around you are just waiting for you to want something amazing so they could be a part of it. Most of us have had the experience of deciding to accomplish a project or get something done and then we were sitting down with pen and paper to write down all the plans necessary to bring the project to fruition. We'd list out all the steps that we'd have to take and that we could see from the perspective of not having the project completed. We then proceed to trudge through the steps one by one and then realize a lot of the steps have to be revised or new steps added and after a while ah, it just seems overwhelming. Of course, the problem started when we wrote down the steps we thought we needed to do. That's a problem because it was done from the viewpoint of not having what it is we were shooting for. In fact, a very wise person told me once, it's not your job to figure out how to get something done. That's the universe's job. All we need to do is put the vision out there and then suspend our own disbelief about it happening. The fact is, as creators, once the vision is released, it is existing within the quantum energetic structure of the subtle energy fields permeating all of us. And these subtle energies are independent of space and time and instantaneously connected to all particles and waves in the entire universe. They are literally the magic of life. We can just as easily spontaneously stop everything by disbelieving. If you don't believe in your own creation, then the intelligences of the particles and waves in the subtle energy field of your life won't believe them either. And so nothing changes. So, as magicians of our own life, we must entrain our monkey minds to be true believers in what we are creating. And in doing so, voila, magic. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com.